Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Rashid here again. And for today, I will be taking you guys through the welcome emails along with the registration process. Now, in addition to that, I will also explain the difference between a digital and physical token. Now, first up is will be the welcome emails. Now, once a user has been created on the system, our team at Kosher Bank will send you three emails. One, the first one will be an email from no reply at scotiabank.com, which will contain what's called your reference number. And if you notice below, there's a screenshot of how the email will look. The second email would be a secure email instructions guide that will contain a PDF document with step-by-step -step instructions on how to register and access our secure email system. Now that system is used whenever we're sending important or sensitive information to our clients. And the third email would be an email from EMS at scotiabank.com notifying you that an officer and representative here at Scotiabank is trying to send you a secure, sensitive email. And to access it, please click on the link. Secondly, digital versus physical tokens. Now, by default, once a user is created on the system, they will be created as a digital token user. And we do have a minimum requirements for either your phone or a tablet. Now, for Apple, it's 9.3 and above. And for Android, Android it's 6.0 and above. Now, in the event that your phone is not compatible with the token, what you will do is just request for a physical token and we will be we will prepare the tokens and can send to the branch of your choosing. Now the physical token is a small dongle. Let me just show you like this. And what you will do is press the button here, and a six-digit number will appear on the screen, and you will enter that whenever you're registering or signing in. Now from our end, once we create a user on the system, they will be created as a company system administrator. Now, the company system administrator is what's called a super user because what they will be able to do is to create an additional users on the system, along with resetting other users, um, updating email address, and also modifying other user accounts. Now, unlike a regular user who will be prompted to, well, a, authorization code will generate on their profile, a company system administrator is required to have what's called a secret word. Now, this secret word is very important for you to remember, and it is separate from your password. This secret word is what's used to verify you as a user on the system. So say you call into our support team and you require assistance as a company system administrator, they will ask you to verify your secret word. Additionally, if you forget your password or your credentials have been reset, when you're recovering your credentials, it's going to ask you for your reference number that would have been sent to you along with this secret word. Very important for you to remember, okay? And I'm going to, I'm going to be taking you guys through the full registration process so that you can see what I'm talking about. Now, what I'm going to do next is take it to the sign-on page show you what the email looks like with the actual reference number in it, and I'm gonna do a live registration on the system, okay? Now, firstly, I'm gonna show you our secure email. Sorry, not secure email, I'm gonna show you our registration email. Once you get this email from no reply at scotiabank.com, what you will do next is to copy this reference number. Now I'm gonna show you something which is also important when copying. When you're copying, you start from the first character and go to the end. However, what we find out what's happening is that sometimes you do this and an extra space is created. So when you copy that information and you paste it in our sign on page, it's gonna give you an error message. So very important when you're copying the reference number, ensure that there's no space by the last character. So let me get this here. And remember, it's just to right click, copy. And now we're going to go to the sign on page. 
Now, for the sign-on page, you will go to your respective country sign-on page, and to the upper right, you will select the drop-down arrow and then business banking. Now, what I'm doing here now is the page for Jamaica. So I would have typed in jamaica.scotiabank.com and it would have taken me here. So again, to the far right, you will select the drop-down arrow. You're gonna, you're gonna be given two options, personal banking and business banking. You're gonna select business banking. Good. Now, as a new user, right? The option that you will select will be register now. But before I select that, let me just explain this page. So firstly, you would have your username and password section here. And if it is that it's your personal computer or laptop, sorry, you can select remember username. To the far right, if there's any important system updates that we would like you to be aware of, you will see it here, okay, under important notices. And in the middle now, these are the different links for our page. Now, we also have a demo page. So just in case um, you want to go over either this over this presentation or if you want to just go through the system by a demo video, you can always select take our demo. But for this instance though, we're gonna just select register now. And if you notice, it's gonna prompt me for a reference number and the authorization code slash secret word. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste in my secret word and I'm gonna type in my, my, sorry, my reference number and I'm gonna type in my secret word now. Now, this secret word is something that I would have created beforehand, right? All right, great. Now, once you've entered the reference number and the secret word correctly, you'll be brought to the user registration details page. Basically, you're gonna be registering as a user on the system now. So the first thing that you would need to do is to create a username. So let me just create one here. Create John Doe. So the username, John Doe 105. Now, important to note, if you notice, I had typed in John Doe 101 and it gave me a message that the username already exists. Now, once a username already exists, it cannot be duplicated regardless of whichever company is on the system. You can't have a duplicate username on the system. You would have to create your own unique username. Then the second step would be to create a password. Now, to the right here, you will notice the criteria for the password. Eight or more characters long, at least one uppercase letter, at least one lowercase letter, at least one number, does not contain your username, and no special characters, letters and numbers only. So let me just create it here. Good. And then it's going to prompt me for my secret word now. No, this can be anything, right? It can just be a word. It can be a string of numbers, anything. Now, it has to be between 8 to 32 characters in length. No special characters, no spaces. It has to be one single word. Good. Now, below, it's going to give you a barcode to scan because, again, by default, once you're created as a user on the system, it will prompt you, it will create you as a digital token user. Now, to add a token to your device, what you will need to do is to download the digital token app. Now, once you go on the Play Store, you would search for digital token. It's going to be a black and white Scotiabank logo. And once you install it, you're going to select login, and I'm going to show you how what it looks like. Okay, 
And if you notice, it says login, and it's gonna prompt you for the password or the key entry that you normally use to access your phone. So if it's a fingerprint, a arrow scanner, a pattern, just enter the same thing that you would use, and then you'll be brought into the app. And there's also an add sign here. If you notice, it's a plus. Once you click on that, your camera will appear. And all you would have to do is to scan the barcode. And you get that message, token added successfully. Now, once your token has been added successfully, then we can move on to the next page. So we will select continue. And then you'll be brought to the questions and answer page. So you will select three different questions and answers. So the child, what was your best friend? Let me just. Okay. So I'm just choosing generic questions and answers. Okay, and lastly, there we go. Three different security questions, three different answers. All right. Good. Now, this is the last page for the registration. Once you've reviewed your username, your secret word, and the security questions, you will then proceed to enter the token validators in the app. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open back my device, log in, and I'm gonna enter the token validators on the screen, okay? Right, here we go. And you're going to select register. Great. 